So you want to be more fuel efficient. Let's talk about your future. I'm in space above New Babbage over here, there's a spaceport. And we are going to pick as a target location this place over here. I'm going to try to land in this spot where the green starts. Okay, do know I'm about 130 kilometers away from New Babbage, which means that place over here is probably 300 kilometers away. Now, in order to conserve fuel, you have to turn off coupled mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly towards it perpendicularly and then adjust my vector with gentle thrust input to slowly fall onto the area from space. What players often like to do is they just turn on coupled, point themselves straight at it and just fly at it. And that uses a lot of fuel because for, for two reasons. <coughs> When you use coupled, all the thrusters in your ship will always try to match your velocity vector. That's the direction where you're going to where your nose is pointing. So if you're pointing around a lot, your thrusters are constantly working and trying to keep you straight. That uses a lot of fuel. And the second reason is if you are flying directly at the target, you are going to intersect with a low atmosphere and spend much more time in it because you're flying almost horizontally through it. But what we want to do is fly in from above and then drop into it, because aerodynamically low atmosphere is like a sticky goop that you do not want to be in when you're flying. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm not going to use um, any afterburner, just normally like I'm accelerating. Okay, now we should have reached top speed. Now you need to consider speed or velocity is something you bought with your fuel. Now you have this currency called velocity, you need to spend it wisely as you descend into the planet. What you want to do is you want to preserve the velocity as long as we can without slowing it down unless we have to. And the more efficient you get at this, the more fuel you're going to save. And the good thing is if you're flying decoupled, you can basically just rotate like this and you're still going to fly in that direction because there's no drag, no air resistance. Pick the target area over here. Now if you see the velocity vector, that's that thing over here. It tells you where you're actually flying with the ship. Now we're scratching the upper atmosphere and notice how it's bending us downwards. I'm actually not touching any controls right now. It's just doing it automatically. If I wanted to correct that, I do not um, uh, move various thruster controls. I'm just going to use D or A, in this case because I'm rotated to the side, to accelerate the fall like this, or to slow the fall down by pushing D in the other direction. You see the velocity vector moving like this. Now what we want to do, we want to fall onto that place. My prediction is, as I'm falling down, will end up over here somewhere, but I want to go over here, so I have to start correcting. I'm just pressing D without afterburner, without any extra help or something. And you basically keep full speed in the atmosphere until you reach 50 kilometers, then your drag is going to start to really kick in in your ship. And now it's pushing like this. So ideally you want to be in a good free fall directly above the target, so you don't have much air resistance fighting you as you're pushing directly down into the gravity well. But you don't want to be stuck at maneuver I'm doing right now, you don't want to do that at below 40 kilometers because there's a huge amount of drag for it. We should be exactly on target. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Again, I'm not doing anything, the ship is just free falling. Notice uh, the more you point your nose down, the less your thruster gauge is actually working. Because for some reason that thruster stuff is still working even in decoupled. Not sure why that is, but if you were to level yourself out, notice the thrusters. And I'm actually flying in decoupled. Okay, so just keep free falling down. The lower your thruster gauge, the more you're free falling without any interference. Notice so far I've only used two units of fuel for the entire exercise. I'm slightly correcting over here. 
But depending how much you're in a hurry, you can accelerate the fall because you notice the air resistance is slowing us down. If you want to be really fuel conservant, you can just fall like that. It's going to take you maybe a minute longer to get to your target. Or you can press W and just accelerate towards falling it. I'm going to keep correcting. Accelerating slightly bit. But now you're using fuel. Notice the thrust is at 99% going. Now you're using fuel. You're basically trading uh, expediency for fuel cost. I'm going to pick that line, by the way. Also, we got a um, strong wind coming in from the... Well, from this direction over here. <clears throat> we might have to slightly correct if we want to land right directly in this place. Keep correcting on the wind. Give it some speed. Yeah, that's a strong wind we got here. Notice I'm already using 6% of fuel. Now, the interesting thing is I didn't, almost didn't use any fuel as I was descending. It's those low atmosphere maneuvers with high drag that really cost you the fuel. Yeah, okay, now I'm deploying the land again. I'm using space brake gently. And we should be touching down. Okay, now we landed.